Hello, welcome to part 2 of Touch and Go eWallet tutorial. On this part, we will be covering on how to reload the Touch and Go eWallet and we will be covering on how to pay with our Touch and Go eWallet. If you haven't signed up, you can use our referral code to sign up. After installations and verifications of your uh, eWallet Touch and Go, you can actually reload an amount to your Touch and Go eWallet. There are two ways to reload your Touch and Go eWallet. One is with your credit card, and another one is with uh, FBX Online Banking. The minimum reload amount is 10 ringgit. So on this example, I will be covering on how to reload using FBX Online Banking. To do a reload, click on Reload eWallet. You can select your preferred amount. So I will be reloading 100 ringgit to my wallet. Next, I will select the method to reload my e-wallet. So I'll be selecting FPX Online Banking. So the FPX Online Banking reloading is uh, pretty simple. It is exactly the same process as when you do uh, an online shopping. So you will need to uh, log in to your Maybank to you. You will need to uh, request your tag and key in your tag. Next, we will be covering on how to pay with your e-wallet. So there are two ways to pay with your e-wallet. One is with the scan and another is with the pay. So usually you will use the scan when you're at the uh, smaller retail store. They will have this QR code on their counter. You will need to scan the QR code with your scan function. You will use the pay function when you are paying at this larger retail chain store such as uh, 7-Eleven. But they can afford to buy this uh, special device to scan your QR code. For the first example, we will be using the scan function. Click on scan to pay. Look for the QR code on the counter. Scan this QR code. You will need to enter the amount to pay. You will also need to enter the keyword that you set during the uh, sign up process. So there you go, you have uh, successfully paid with Next, e wallet. we will be using the pay to pay with our e-wallet. Click on pay. It seems that the app has blocked my screen recording. So the process is similar where you have to show your QR code to the cashier. He will scan your QR code and you will need to enter your password to pay for the transaction. So these are two ways you can pay with your e-wallet. We hope that the tutorial has been uh, informational. Thank you and have a nice day.